Hey everybody. Welcome to Snap Vegan. We're eating on the cheap. Doesn't have to kill you. And forget my hair today. Just forget about it. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting up and it's like quarter after nine. I slept really good last night for the first time in a long time. I didn't have the anxiety about my testing. I didn't my shoulders pretty good and lube now and thanks to the shot he gave me and I just I just relaxed and chilled so I was in I made this big long video about how the day actually went yesterday for my testing and then I ran out of room on the camera or the phone and it was just <sighs> so here's a short and a long of it uh, all my tests were scheduled by my doctor's office in the correct order they were supposed to go in. <laughs> but when I got there, it was a different story. Uh, my DEXA scan was scheduled, was su supposed to be the first thing on the day. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, they ended up taking me to nuclear medicine instead. And then uh, the, the mammogram and the, and the ultrasound, that, that went like it was supposed to go. But when I got to the mammogram center, which is the same place they do the bone scan, I was filling out paperwork for it, you know. Have you had a nuclear test in the last period of time? Insert period of time here. I'm like, yeah, I just came from nuclear medicine. Said, oh, no, no, no. No, you cannot have a DEXA scan after a nuclear. No, that, that messes up our bone scan. <laughs> so I couldn't have it yesterday. And I was so tired after everything um, that I just said, heck with the blood work right now. Blood work was ordered by Dr. Stinson, and I see her May 11th. And I follow up with my cardiologist next week, you know, about all these tests. And there's a lab right in the same building, on the same floor. So I just figured I would go ahead and try to get my DEXA scan rescheduled for that day, like, two hours before I see my cardiologist I can get my DEXA scan I can go into her office see her and get my lab work done and Dr. Stinson will still have it in time for me to um, see her on May 11th so that's good I still have a little headache a little naggy headache. It's not a poundy headache. It feels like my brain is sore. <laughs> so I'm a little still slow on the uptake here. I weighed myself at radiology yesterday. So here's my weight in the radiology department yesterday. Here it is. What? <laughs> I weighed myself this morning at home, and here's what that is. What? <laughs> what, baby? Come on. Ah! Here's my pooch pooch. He is not a Springer Spaniel, y'all. He's a Pekingese. He's a I'm Pekingese, if you please. His nose just isn't as smushed up as the others because my vet tells me that he, he comes from more of the original line of Pekingese's that, um, I mean, see, his nose is kind of set back, but it's not set into his face. So he is more of the original line of Pekingese, and she's grateful for that because that way he doesn't have near the breathing problems. I love you too, my poo poo <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. I love you. But, um, so that was the day. And, you know, I, I hope my video showing everybody how that worked. I mean, you know, your results are going to vary because, you know, they tailor it to your particular needs. But, uh, I think it was Kira 
asked me about how come I didn't do a bike or a treadmill instead of the chemical stuff. And it's because I have bone spurs in my hips. I have a missing vertebra, I have arthritis in my back, I have bone spurs in my neck, and you saw the bone spurs in my shoulder. And you know, when you walk, you swing your shoulders, you swing your arms. If I had to catch myself, I didn't have the strength in my arm to do that, and those two little itty bitty, you know, people there. <laughs> While I was on the treadmill, this tiny little old nurse, it was precious. Uh, you know, she had her hand on my drawers <laughs> behind me, you know, to like hold me up. As if, I, as if 272.5 pounds is going to be held up by the seat of my britches. <laughs> Police. But it was, it was precious. <laughs> Thank God it didn't pass out. Uh, so, uh, okay, so today is kind of a double whammy. It's a senior pack pickup day and CSFP day at the same time. So I got a pay it forward thing in motion already for the CSFP thing. So I'm going to leave here in about an hour and a half after I take my shower and kind of look a little more presentable. And um, uh, meet Patty out there for the senior pack pickup. And then I got to go back at uh, 1 o'clock to get the CSFP stuff. So let's hope for a good haul today. I could use some lettuce and... Uh, I got a barter thing going on for some kale. <laughs> uh, let's, let's hope that works out. <coughs> so, I'll be doing something later on about my senior pack pickup, if I feel like it now. I, I, I'm hoping I'll feel like it. Right now, I'm kind of drained. I'm still kind of drained. Um, you know, actually, the, you know, the test all in all, I mean, it had to be done, right? So, all in all, the, t the test uh, didn't, it, it wasn't that bad. It was a temporary discomfort that gives you a hangover the next day. Okay, I want to get down. But I did want to say that I had to do uh, six shots on my mammogram because they had to do two more on the left side, and that kind of was like, mm. And that uh, when he was doing the right side of my veins I couldn't see the screen when he was doing the left side I could see the screen and what I saw looked like that in two places now this is a from Dr. Esselstyn's book I tore out a page by accident and this is a progression of eating plant-based foods when it's bad going to better now I'm thinking you know also in reverse going from better to progressing to worse now, I had a whole lot of space in between my this and, and that, so it wasn't like that, and it wasn't like that. What I saw did look like this, uh, and I saw some um, uh, n more narrow situations. Uh, I didn't see anything that looked like that. Everything I saw was kind of, you know, first I saw the, the black and gray, um, you know, version, and then he went into full color. Uh, showing the blood flowing through here uh, and I didn't say anything because you know I'm not a technician I'm not a doctor I don't know that what I saw was what I think I saw because I thought I've seen that before <laughs> that was in Dr. Esselstyn's book I'm like, oh god but you know if that is you know what I think it is uh, and it's as I think it is it looks like that it wasn't a big obstruction I'm thinking you know what I started eating this way well, July will be a year ago, and um, maybe it was really worse then, and what I'm eating, uh, you know, has made that go down, because what I'm eating sure didn't make it worse, you know. Yeah, I've uh, had a bump in the road. What you doing? Get that purple ball. Get it. He's so silly. Um. So it could be I'm improving, but that's the first time they've seen it. So um, uh, we'll see. So I don't know. All the more reason for me to stay on track, do what I got to do. What are you doing? Give me a soccer ball. He's so silly. Come, you here. I've got a soccer hero over here. Give me that. Bring it here. Bring it. Can you see him? 
me that sucker ball. Bring it here. Bring it. <laughs> I love him. Oh, Lord. But anyway, so, you know, they had to take, like I said, two extra pictures on my left side, on my left breast. And he spent more time on the left side here than he did on the right. And on the left side, you know, he would stop and look at those sections and then do the sound take. And the sound on this side was like, like that, you know. Over here, it was like, it was, it had extra stuff in it. Which is why he said my doctor ordered it to start with, because when she listened, she heard something extra too. Wanted to check it out. So, we're checking it out. And so, uh, I will know about this on April 26th. And um, not knowing is worse than knowing. Because I've said it all along. As long as you know what to do, what it is, you can address it. If you don't know, you can't address it. And if you know, it takes away your excuses not to do something about it. Because, for instance, uh, you know, if they say this is like terrible, I, I mean, I'm going to be super anal about no oil. I mean, like beyond what I've already, you know, started doing, and um, uh, going to, you know, take my excuses away. <laughs> so I don't want to die. I don't want to die in my sleep. I don't want to die. You know, well, I, you know, if I die in my sleep, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> It's just fire and drowning and fearful things that I don't want to die that way. But in my sleep, I'm cool with that. But anyway, so, uh, but I got things to do. I got people to see. I got to get back to work. I got to get off this disability. I got to be a poster child for other people <laughs> to show them you can do this. So, you know, and you can. But you got to have the answers to know what to address and how to chart your course. So, a whole food plant-based no oil uh, situation is, is kind of ideal and I'm telling you it's not people do it cold turkey and everything else it's not that easy but it's doable and I have to say the food tastes the, the more you do it the fresher and nicer and more satisfying the food tastes because your taste buds are reset and you can actually taste the food instead of having it drown in oil and clog up everything so um, at any rate, so that's in a nutshell. That's that's kind of how my day went. Um, I had some other details <laughs> about. I had a lengthier detail about the mammogram and and uh, ultrasound, but that's okay. You get the gist of it anyway. So uh, could be she just took bad pictures on the first round of the left side and needed more, but. She did the first two, were satisfied with it. She started with the left and went to the right, and then she came back to the left. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see what's going on there. Uh, and uh, I've only skipped one mammogram. So, and so like I said, you know, my friend Patty skipped a mammogram. By the time they got to her, a stage three breast cancer. But she said when that happened with her that right there in the mammogram room they called the doc. The doc came down and told her to her face right now that is cancer and we're going to start tomorrow. We're going to get something. Will you be back here? I mean it was like just like that. So no doctor came in in my room. No doctor was called. Nothing like that. But uh, so um, that's it. Uh, now we find out what's going on with my arteries over here. I'm kind of looking forward to hearing about that. So since my last visit with my um, ortho doc last Friday, today is Tuesday, uh, I've lost uh, 10 pounds <laughs> in a week. So they say. I don't know. Because they had me clocking at 280. And this morning, I am. 270. 272 at the hospital, 270 at home, you know, around about in there. So, anyway, 
that's kind of a weigh-in and a, everything else all bundled <laughs> Okay, have a good day, everybody. I gotta get wash the flunk off and uh, go get to. Oh, one thing I want to tell you, mammogram lady, you wearing deodorant? I'm like, yes. <laughs> Can't you tell? I <laughs> uh, said, so you're gonna have something for me to use afterwards, right? Because you have to take wipe it off. Sure. She never gave me anything to wipe it off with, so I went around the rest of the day with no deodorant. <laughs> and when I got home, you could tell. This one side is so funkier than all than the other side. This other side, I could walk around all day with no deodorant on. <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> Over here, it's like what what crawled up in me and died in the right armpit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just this armpit. What's up? With it? It's been like that for years. Um. I used to have a boil, get a boil under here. Uh, it's only happened like three times, but still, uh, you know. So we go the antibiotic thing, and it would go away, but the funky smell would still be there. <laughs> and I don't know. I just need like that clinical strength stuff. It's so expensive, but um, so I don't get it. So I just stay on top of it, you know. And, um, but so that was one thing with the mammogram lady. She told, she said she'd give me something to put on after, and she didn't. And I was so exhausted, I spaced it out anyway. Forgot about it until I got home. I'm like, ah, she fibbed to me. She didn't give me my deodorant. <laughs> Anyhow, just a minor blip in the works. No big deal. Her name was April, though. At, at the mammogram, MD imaging. <laughs> Talk to her about it. <laughs> Call her out. Anyway, I was grumpy and tired and everything by the time I got there. I apologized to her in advance. I said, I'm tired and grumpy. I, I, if I, I don't want to say anything, that's, you know, I really don't want to take off my deodorant because it's aluminum free. You know, there's not, you know, so what would be in there that would bother the, you know, any. I was, what do you call it? Hangry. I was hungry and angry. <laughs> but that's it. Okay, I'm good. Alright, talk to you later. That's how my day went. I'll be back later on if I'm feeling up to it. To uh, go over my uh, senior pack pickup and CSFP. Uh, I got already got a pay it forward moment going on with the CSFP. So, I think I'll just probably do it. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to you later.